ride back to the train station. We're gonna catch a train to Maastricht. Maastricht. It has a T on there. Maastricht. Maastricht. Um, it's a two and a half hour train. We haven't, we've like literally done nothing all morning this week. Um, so we're gonna get there around six. Check into our Airbnb about seven. stopped in Vert, which is three stops down from Maastricht, which is where we worked. And the train didn't move because apparently there's a fire in Sittard, which is the stop before Maastricht. Um, so they're not running any trains to the southern area, southern areas at the moment. So we're, we don't really know what's going on. We could, one lady said she's been waiting here like an hour and a half for a connecting train, so I don't know how long we'll be here for. So they're doing they're doing like shuttle buses or connecting buses to um, the train station that has the fire, um, Sitard. They're doing um, shuttle buses to Sitard, and we were considering catching one, but check out this line. That's the line for the bus. So it's 20 past 8, we've been delayed by two hours and we're finally getting a train. So we've made it to Maastricht but our Airbnb host said that he would meet us here at seven, which was the time that we were supposed to arrive before, to you know, give us a lift to his, his house or wherever we're staying or whatever. But that's the only message he sent us. Um, and then we said like, it, we're delayed and like we're gonna be a while. And the only message he sent after that was, are you guys here, what's happening? So, like, we don't know if he's still at the station or if he's gone home. He didn't say where he was going to meet us at the station if we, when we got here, at, if we got here at 7. He never implied he was at the station, by the way. He just said, where are you guys? Basic, oh, and, his, and the phone number that's listed on his Airbnb contact page thing is disconnected, disconnected or invalid. So we don't really know what to do. So we're just sitting at the station waiting for him to reply. But it took him about an hour to reply last time, so we don't really know what to do basically. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Daniel. Hey. We're Australian, that's why. <laughs> Sorry about the delays Two hours before the train started. So, yeah, sorry about before the... Before the fire was under control. Yeah, no, yeah. No problem, I was at home. I was. I had a day of study in The Hague. So I was at home around 6.30, so I had a little bit of time to eat and to clean up. So we found gas or goose or... Goose. Goose. Um, and he gave us a lift back to the Airbnb, which is really good. Really nice. Um, we're going to go explore Maastricht tomorrow. We've only got one day here, right? Yes. Yeah, so tomorrow is our only day in Maastricht. 
so a two and a half hour journey turned into a almost six hour journey because <laughs> of that delay and waiting around for Gus. You know how in movies when they're like, we should get a coffee tomorrow afternoon, they're like, great. And then the next scene, or like a couple scenes after, is them doing it, but they never establish a time or a place. Or who's picking up who, that sort of thing. And it just happens. I feel like they must text about it later when the scene, the cameras are off. 